Hey guys, it's Kaz here, okay, Cats and Camera, and today I'm doing my most owned authors. I'm going to do books and graphic novels. A couple of rules in each, though, with books. I'm only going with authors that I've actually read at least some of the books. So, for example, I have 10 volumes of a series of unfortunate events, but I'm not having them here because I'm waiting until I get the other two before I start the series. So, yeah, I need to have read the authors. And in the graphic novel one, I've kind of done it more based on a series or a character rather than an author because some graphic novels have like four or five authors on and I can't be bothered to go through them all and see who's written what. So yeah. So we're coming in at five in graphic novels. I've kind of gone against my own rule here. So I have four by Mark Miller. I have Kingsman the Secret Service, volume one and volume two of Kick-Ass and then the prequel to Kick-Ass 2. Coming in at four, also with four books, I have the Runaways series, got Pride and Joy, Teenage Wasteland, The Good Die Young and Rock Zombies. Coming in at three in graphic novels, I have Deadpool with five. The definitive Deadpool, this is just a collection of a bunch of stuff. I have Secret Invasion, X marks the spot, what happened in Vegas, and Operation Annihilation. So technically coming in at number two, I have The Walking Dead with ten volumes, although within those ten volumes, I actually have 24. So I have the compendiums one and two, then I have Something to Fear, What Comes After, March to War, All Out War, All Out War Part 2, A New Beginning, Whispers into Screams and Life and Death. So although I do technically have 24 volumes, I actually own 10. And coming in at number one, of course, is Chew with 12 volumes. Taste is Choice, International Flavour, Just Desserts, Flambe, Major League, Space Cakes, Bad Apples, Family Recipes, Chicken Tenders, Blood Pudding, The Last Suppers and Sour Grapes. So coming in at number 10 is Patrick Ness with six books. So I have the Chaos Walking Trilogy, The Knife and Never Letting Go, Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men. Then the rest of us just live here, A Monster Calls, and more than this. So coming in at number 9 I have Death Note with seven volumes. These don't have names so pretty quick. Coming in at 8 I have Maggie Steve Vatter with seven books. I'm sure you can guess what they are. Of course, The Raven Cycle. Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue, and The Raven King, and then the Shiver series. So Shiver, Linger, and Forever. In at number seven, I have George R. R. Martin with eight books. So of course, A Song of Ice and Fire, A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, Volume 1 and 2. I know they're technically one book, but because they're in two books, I'm counting it as two. A Feast for Crows, A Dance with Dragons, then I have the big Game of Thrones pop-up book and while this isn't technically George R. R. Martin, it is edited by him and it has one of his stories in so I'm including Rogues which is a bind up of loads of little stories. Coming in at number 6, also with 8 books I have Alex Sanchez. I've put him above George R. R. Martin because this is literally every book he's ever written. I have the Rainbow Boys trilogy which is Rainbow Boys, Rainbow High, and Rainbow Road, Boyfriends with Girlfriends, The God Box, Bait, So Hard to Say, and Getting It. In at number five, we have my fave, Andrew Smith, with 10 books. This is also every book he's ever written, apart from that, because you love to hate me, it's the one in there as well. So we have Winger and Standoff, Grasshopper Jungle, The Alex Crow, Ghost Medicine, Stick, In the Path of Falling Objects, 100 Sideways Miles, and then the Marbury Lens duology, which is the Marbury Lens and Passenger. In at number four, we have Cassandra Clare with 11 books. Basically all of a series, but I've not got the bind-ups yet. Then we have The Infernal Devices, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. And then The Dark Artifices, I have Lady Midnight, and I have Lord of Shadows, but my sister's borrowing that at the moment. Now we're into the big leagues, the top three. So, at number three, we have Rick Riordan with 16 books. So we have the Percy Jackson series, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, and the Sea of Monsters, 
Titan's Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. Also the Demigod Files. Next we have the Heroes of Olympus series, The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus. King Chronicles, which are The Red Pyramid, The Throne of Fire, and The Serpent's Shadow. I also have Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer, and The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle. So at number two, I have Jacqueline Wilson with 24 books. Basically, these are all from my childhood and I did have more, but I gave the really, really childish ones away. So I have the Girls series, Girls in Love, Girls Out Late, Girls Under Pressure, and Girls in Tears. Lola Rose, Bad Girls, The Dare Game, The Suitcase Kid, and The Lottie Project, The Illustrated Mom, Candy Floss, Secrets, Clean Break, The Sorry of Tracy Beaker, and The Bed and Breakfast Star, Starring Tracy Beaker, The Diamond Girls, Jackie Daydream, Love Lessons, My Sister Jodie, Double Act, Little Darlings, Midnight, Petty Feather, Best Friends, and Kiss. And at number one, if you thought that was a lot, we have Darren Shan with 44 books. So I have The Thin Executioner and Lady of the Shades, these are two standalones. Then I have the Demon Artist series, Lord Loss, Demon Thief, Slaughter, Beck, Blood Beast, Demon Apocalypse, Death's Shadow, Wolf Island, Dark Calling, and Hell's Heroes. Next up I have all 12 books of the Saga of Darren Shan series, and the first seven volumes of the manga version. So I have Soka Du Freak, The Vampire's Assistant, Tunnels of Blood, Vampire Mountain, Trials of Death, The Vampire Prince, Hunters of the Dusk, Allies of the Night, Killers of the Dawn, Lake of Souls, Lord of the Shadows, and Sons of Destiny. Next I have the prequel to the Saga of Darren Shan, which is the Saga of Larton Crepsley, Birth of a Killer, Ocean of Blood, Palace of the Damned, and Brother to the Death but I've lent volume three and four out. Next, I have the first five volumes of the Zombie series, which is Zombie, Zombie Underground, Zombie City, Zombie Angels, and Zombie Baby. Then the City trilogy, which is one of Darren Shan's adult series, Procession of the Dead, Hell's Horizon, and City of the Snakes. And then last but not least, I have Koi-san, which is one of the books from World Book Day and a random sampler for the first chapter of Lord Loss. So there you have it, my most owned authors. You can see how crazy obsessed I am with Darren Shan from that. Tell me down below who are your most owned authors and whether it's because you like a certain author and they do a lot of standalones or whether it's because it's a massive series. Tell me down below. If this is your first video about me and you enjoy it then please check out some of my others and if you continue to enjoy them then please subscribe, that'd be awesome. Anyway guys, I will see you in a few days with another video. Bye.